hold on. You okay? Yeah, hold on. Hmm. He's got like a pain or something. Hold on. You want some water, Hmm. You okay? You want something to drink? Do you feel like your water broke? I think so. Are you really? serious? Yeah. No fucking way. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Just, Just Between, Between Us, Us podcast. podcast. I'm your host, Easy. And I'm Natalie Odell. And today is a very special day. Y'all, we're so excited because we have our first guest ever, ever on Just Between Us podcast. Yes, y'all. And let's just say she's an internet sensation. Wait, first of all, y'all might have seen her on your TV screen because she's an actress too. She is an actress. actress. You talking about that girl in Boomerang? Yeah, she was on First Noel. Wait, hold on, hold on. The girl in Claws. Yes, and Black Lady Skate. Wait, she was in Fear Factor too. <laughs> that's the one. That's the one. That's the okay, one. that's her. That's her, right? Yes, y'all. She okay. been killing it she first started at Allstate she quit that job yes. and then went full-fledged on her entertainment career y'all and she has been killing it ever since and let me just say y'all she inspired me to do my shit okay mm -hmm. generating over 8 million followers give it up for the powerful inspirational queen La 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 Y'all intro was everything. Hey, you like, like that? that? Yeah, it's like y'all did y'all research or something. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, she is our friend, but she at the same time, we were like, damn, Lala be doing it like this. Yes. I was like, damn, Lala. Oh, thank y'all. Y'all gonna make her emotional. You know, pregnant. Okay, right. so a girl emotional. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. wait, can can they see the belly? I don't know if it's blended in, but y'all, Lala pregnant. Yes, big pregnant, honey. I can't believe big pregnant. it. First Damn. time mother. Yes. How's it feeling? How are you feeling you about it? Oh my excited? gosh, amazing. I'm super excited. I'm nervous for the labor pains, but Ooh. everything else, I'm super, super like excited and elated. Okay. And that's like any moment now. When, yes. when are you due? You're like Shoot. eight months, right? Or nine I'm months? I'm nine months. Oh, Girl, shit, she yes. got the power. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, okay. She's nine months pregnant. Okay, so uh -huh. we gotta hurry up. Right. Hurry the fuck up. Oh, Don't take a <laughs> Hurry the fuck up. Shit. Okay. She about to blast. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So La, how does it feel to actually like have something growing inside of you? You know what I'm saying? I know you have something inside of you, but how does it feel? <laughs> oh, that's how we're here now. Ain't it? And, and, and Hermes. And thank you to Hermes. To my man. <laughs> <laughs> he over there, you know. Oh. Yeah. Yes. But it feels great. You know, it's one of those things to where I feel like I got a little alien inside of me, yeah. you know, because he just be moving He's every active. now and again. And I just watch my stomach start doing the, you know, surf swag. It's like, this is okay. crazy. Okay. Wait, oh. do you dance? Like, or you be like very cautious? Because I know pregnant women that go out, but do you be like moving and grooving with the baby? Or you just be I like. I still be dancing and turning okay. up and stuff like that. Okay. Like, I mean, once it's on you, you kind of get used to it being there. Okay. It's just, you know, you lean back a little bit when you open the refrigerator or so whenever you, you open it. get yeah. the car door open yeah like you just <laughs> gotta be cautious in that way but it's still like hey, hey you know hey, yeah. I know you were telling us the other day when we called you because we were like nervous y'all we were like should we ask her to be on it I don't know we told her we because we, we had about it a long time ago we're like damn she pregnant now like and hey. that's the thing whenever people are pregnant people be like oh my gosh well I didn't want to invite you out because I and it's like okay yes I'm pregnant but I'm still very very much so able to move around. Right. Like, right. stop playing with me. Ugh. Damn. I, see, people be saying, you know, after you get pregnant, your relationship change. No, people change, people change because they be treating you like you can't do nothing anymore. Right. Damn. No, absolutely. So, Shoot. what is one thing that you are, I guess, looking forward to the most for once you like give birth? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. when regular life starts coming back? Mm -hmm. mm. Um, I'm looking forward to. I ain't gonna lie, nothing has changed for real. For At real, all. wow, nothing, not even the sex. No, <laughs> it has not. No, this belly ain't it getting in the way. way. Wait, only reason why the I belly stuck. does get in the way. It does. Okay. okay, so I mean, hell, and I am a little bit lethargic when it comes to riding or whatever, but <gasps> you know, <laughs> but. <laughs> Honey, now what? that I got you know my motocross jacket and stuff, I'll be able to ride again. You know? <laughs> Okay. 
<laughs> okay, so wait, listen. So the only reason why I asked though uh-huh. is because like, you know, obviously we want to get pregnant, right? Mm-hmm. But like I told her, like, I don't want to, obviously we're two women, but I don't want to like have sex while she's pregnant because I feel like, I'm like that's what? Weird. That's weird. Like it's a baby in there. Oh my God. First of all, the baby is super, super surrounded by so much protective stuff. Okay. So you'll be perfectly fine. Right. And I mean, with all due respect, it ain't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to say it because I don't want to get canceled Cancel. by the LGBTQIA no. plus no. minus negative positive. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't do it. I'm just saying like, you won't feel it. You know what I mean? Like, you'll be just fine. Right. Okay. Y'all so will be good. Ask you, right. Boy, okay, let me ask you. Yes. I'll ask him after. Like, yeah. Okay. Like, right. like, nothing changes. I mean, one time he did say, bae, your stomach. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> not him laughing. <laughs> See? And honey, I, uh, as a, when you're pregnant, you already got those small little, like, insecurities of, like, my body is changing. Right. So when he said that, I'm like, no. Wow. My belly. Like, you know right. what I mean? And so I was like, well, that's what I look forward to, honey. Had not having the belly anymore yeah. so I could do what I want to do. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel that. Absolutely. I feel that. Okay, so what is like one of your, I don't know, because you know when people are like planning and stuff like that mm-hmm. for like their pregnancy, trying to decide what type of mother they're going to be once they yeah. actually give birth. Mm-hmm. Like, is there anything when you become like a mom that you feel like, dang, I'm kind of worried about that. Like, what's one of your biggest fears about becoming a mother? I'm not going to lie. I don't have any fears about becoming a mom because the way that I am with my friends, my man, my family, you know what I'm saying? I am very much so going to be that way with my son. Yeah. You know, it's one of those things where I'm very nurturing. Yeah. I am very, I'm allowing of people to express themselves. I give them the truth. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I do it all in love. Yeah. So I look forward to sharing me as exactly who I am mm-hmm. with my son. Yeah. And I'm not mm-hmm. gonna lie, you've always given like motherly energy, even from like the first time, like when we, we were all say it around. It, was, it felt yeah. like we called her mama thing. Milan before, yeah. literally. You <laughs> know, it's a country thing though, because like I just feel like a lot of country people are more like just like damn girl like family you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying yeah. I, I get that family I mean, not vibe. everybody's like that true not everybody you know, not, not everybody's everybody, like but that la, 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 like she just gives she that energy it. she can, the first time she came to our house she cooked Cook us for dinner us. <laughs> 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 too, so just so you know yes. I, ain't eating I thought you was coming over Look, to cook, honey, you know? y'all provided the food child i was like oh let's eat Come it was on. bomb too it was yeah. what was it pasta we had pasta some garlic bread child yeah okay so look when you got pregnant, yep. did you want a boy or girl or it didn't matter? I wanted a boy. Okay. Well, I absolutely wanted a boy. Because usually moms usually want a girl, like, you know, so they could dress them up and stuff like that. So mm. why do you want a boy? Okay. So I wanted a boy because my man, he already has a daughter, okay. right? And I see how he loves on his daughter and everything like uh, that. And I wanted something. I wanted to be able to give him something different. Okay. You know, honestly speaking, I never planned on dating somebody that has had a child mm. already, you know, yeah. but you know, once I saw the dynamic and everything like that, it felt mm-hmm. safe. Mm-hmm. So I was mm-hmm. like, you know what? Okay, cool. I could go ahead and do this. But I was like, I want to, I still want to give him something different right. because you know, when somebody's already had a child, I don't feel like them having another child makes it special. as exciting yeah. as, yeah. A, as special. So I was like, I want to give him something different, you know? Right. So, for me, it was like that, but also too, I have a lot of guy friends. Okay. So I know that nowadays, honey, you can't just have a daughter around men and it's acceptable like that. Who's yeah. not the father. So yeah. it's like, if I have a little son, he could be a part of the crew. Yeah. You know? And so yeah. there was so many different factors that contributed to me wanting to have a son. So when we realized that we were having a boy, whoo, you were so happy. Oh my God. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Y'all, that is literally Lala's laugh. Okay, stop. <laughs> like she had to stop herself. She almost did it for y'all. She was. Cause she. 
<laughs> I know she was so happy when you found out. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh, oh my god. Wait, so I wanted to ask you. Yes. So have you stepped into full blown like stepmom type was, vibes yet? Yeah. Or like, like you have you what? met the little girl? Yes, and... I've met his daughter multiple times. Aww. You know, but she's very attached to his hip. You know, yeah. and we're always we don't ever have enough time. You mm-hmm. know, to stay long enough to where I've built like that relationship that I desire to build. Yeah. But hopefully, you know, when she comes out here and stuff like that, I will. Yeah. You know? yeah. So she's only two. Baby girl is two. Oh my gosh, she's so, she, oh, so there's yeah, not even a big age guy. Oh, that's no, so cool. Okay. It's man. not. You know, she yeah. turns three in March. So when, you know, he's being born, she'll still be two, but she'll be stepping into that three age. But yeah. And they can still Sister be in the school vibe. together too. Exactly. Oh my God. That's, that's and I'm fire. hoping, you know, she will be coming here. We, I just prayed on it this morning, you know, mm-hmm. for a fruitful relationship with his daughter, because at the end of the day, because we are together, mm-hmm. I feel like it'll come a time where, you know her and I have to have yeah. that, you yeah. know, because... And it's good, too, that I feel like it's good that she's so young still. Yes. So it's like, that's going to be so easier to She ain't to got no build. attitude yet, you know what yes. I'm saying? So and, perfect. And she could be comfortable, so... Yeah. Honey, but mm-hmm. I don't know a kid who doesn't like me. You know, I'm yeah. gonna grab her with some candy. Yeah, so. right. <laughs> no, because you remember when my niece and nephew were here and, and at the they party, they just me. walk yes. up the line. They're just like staring yes. at her. Like, so I look forward to having that time with her. You know, and her being like my bonus baby girl. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. I, in my head, I be asking him, "Baby, is that weird?" Like, I say certain things. Mm-hmm. Like, I already have that level of comfortability, you mm-hmm. know, and love for her already. So, Aww. he's like, how is that weird? No, you know? I would think that's that good would make because him feel exactly. happy because yeah. like, that's his baby. Yeah. And then it could be drama, too. Like, mm-hmm. so the fact, and you could have, like, this kind of, like, you know, not envy or whatever, but it's just like, okay, I know that's what you're talking about. You know, know what I'm like that. You know yeah. what? But, yeah. honey, I promised myself, and I literally, before we even went this far, mm-hmm. you know, I was like, I have to be absolutely sure that I'm okay with this, yeah. you know, and I am, mm-hmm. you know, so that's yeah. good. That's mm-hmm. super good. Cause I want, well, we want to have children, but our, we're like contemplating. So okay. I feel like we're, we're obviously different than, you know, a heterosexual relationship, Correct. but we're contemplating between like having a donor that we know versus a donor. We don't know. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, the people, y'all don't want them involved. You know what I'm saying? We don't want them involved. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it'll be drama. And on top of it, we know really good men. So I feel like they're going to be too good of a father. And it's like, that's our baby. You yeah. know, you was just to sit, you was just supposed to be provided. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. just like you can come to the birthday party, but, like, but you don't. don't. Know. Do y'all even want? Daddy. I was about to say, do y'all want the kids to know who to? Mm-hmm. No, that's I would a say whole different no. battle. Yeah, because yeah. they gonna be like, you know, I'm your daddy, right? But, like, but here's the thing: as the child gets older, they're going to realize, wait, y'all are two women. Yeah. where did I come from? I know. We're gonna, we're gonna explain it. Yeah. They are, and we're gonna explain it to our kids. And I feel like that's a lot of like the contemplation of but having it's easier kids. Easier to explain it when you the guy's not in the life, yes, like exactly. in their like, life, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what do you think is best? Ooh. Okay, there's two options. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Well, man, All right. when, it comes, when it comes to easy getting pregnant, right? Because oh, she okay. wants to carry. I do. And okay. I do. Okay. And do I you see think? It yeah. Right, right? She'd be <laughs> a cute. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm very feminine, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, not a, I'm not a stud. You are stud. not a hood. Can you know, I say hood nigga stud? Yeah, you can yeah. say hood You're not a hood nigga stud. You know what I'm like, saying? Like, you're not one of them. You're, even though you're a, I consider you a soft stud. Yeah. People Even be though, saying so many different things. I don't know what kind of stud I am. You know, they be yeah. saying sassy stud, princess stud, a yeah, like stud. you very much so live in your femininity. Yeah, a absolutely. Lot, you know? Absolutely. Like down yeah. to the sewings and stuff. They don't know that. <laughs> uh, this that, guy, that's that's right. I didn't say that was a sewing. <laughs> no, they the know, one they time when know. I saw the sewing, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I could fix it real quick. Okay. Yes. But yes, like that, the, pre- the prettiness of it, you mm-hmm. know, all that still being. Well manicured, not letting your body just be any kind like right. very much so still, And she's gonna be such a know? good mom too. Yeah. She's gonna be a really good mom. Like I already know she loves kids. She's loved kids from the time I met her. Before I even knew anything about kids, because my first introduction to children was my niece and nephew. nephew. I knew yeah. it. So before that, like I really didn't have any like attraction to children at mm-hmm. all. Mm-hmm. But she would always be like, Oh my god, kids, kids, yeah. kids. And I wanna have kids. She said she wanted to have kids at 18. I was like, I girl. I wanted to be a young mom. My mom is a young mom. You know what I'm saying? So it just felt like, okay. So you, 
you wanted your kids to quote unquote grow up with you. Not like grow a lot of up with say. me. I just wanted to, I felt like when I'm in my fifties and my kids are in their twenties, it feels like my neck and my back ain't hurt. But here's the you know? thing. Nowadays, the 50 year olds are not the traditional. Oh, year old. You see yeah. your mama. We right. went, just went to a yeah. pole strip dance studio yeah. for her mom's 50th birthday. And her mama was in a little bikini. That's what I'm saying. That's the like vibe. The 50 yeah. is not what we what, what it was yeah you know it's like, the new, it's like the new 40s yes like, my you know. mom be talking about something i'm of age and i'm like girl <laughs> shut up <laughs> not like, of age it don't look like it don't act like it so yeah, yeah. nowadays is different would be cool okay, okay wait, so no wait, 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 Question. You ask the last question. Let me oh ask the question. my god! Okay, <laughs> so wait, I didn't even get to ask the question. Oh, okay, 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 go, 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 go. Okay. <laughs> so should we? <laughs> should we a let my brother get her pregnant or b like or b find a donor? You said let your brother. They gonna do to do? Hell no. Okay. I mean, this is just hypothetical. This is just like, hypothetical. Like what is your uncle daddy? Right. That would be weird, right? <laughs> that would be weird, right? I know you and fucking I would lie. be auntie mommy. Like, that would be so weird. No, I know you fucking lying because I'm, other option. Y'all ain't even going to be. Oh, or just a, a, just a random person that we don't know. Well, here's the thing. I think. Whew. <laughs> she's like damn i wasn't prepared for this one okay because it's a brother uncle brother dad or uncle and dad be auntie so, mommy nah. it's so okay. weird Go i ahead. think that y'all should do a donor mm-hmm. and y'all should sign documentation and they shouldn't even have any idea who y'all are mm-hmm. so that way y'all don't have to worry about him coming back later and all that extra stuff because mm-hmm. yeah honey for your brother how could he I feel like if him being around the kid and him watching him grow up and or him or her, next thing you know, he's like, dang, and he you never know. Right. People get attached and that's him watching his seed. Hey, they gonna be attached Was naturally. he open to it? When me and Easy first became like just friends, like she was like seriously talking to my brother like, you know, what do you think? Like, if, would you potentially be my donor? But we say? weren't dating then. I don't know if he, I think he's, what did he we were, say? It was always a joke. It was never it serious. It was always a joke. Yeah, it was never serious. But I feel like he would probably be too attached to just yeah, let I would say that. a donor all day. Mm-hmm. A, yeah, absolutely. An unknown donor mm-hmm. yeah. on okay. their end anyways. Yeah. Okay, so look, are you, is my question, are you going to, because I feel like the school system is yeah. so different. Are you going to have your kid in public school or do you want your kid in private school? Because it leads to my next question about what we want to do. Um, I haven't thought that far just yet okay. because the area in which we live is so nice mm-hmm. and they say that the school systems are amazing. Okay. So the public schools out there from what we've been told are fine. Okay. You know, so at the end of the day, I just want my child to feel normal. You yeah. know what I mean? Have a sense of normalcy. Um, and whether that comes for public or private, we'll vet it when the time comes mm-hmm. and then we'll see. But I haven't even thought that far. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we're struggling, even though we don't even, she ain't even pregnant yet. You know right. what I'm saying? But we're struggling too, because even though we're in the LGBTQ keep going community, yeah. I feel going. like, I don't know if I'm, if I want somebody else to teach my kid about that. And they're forcing that into the classrooms now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's forcing. not. So it's much. in movies and all the other stuff, but right. it's just the way that it's taught. Like I watched a video and it was a girl teaching, you know, uh, kids about it and they were, they weren't even aware of it. And the teacher was pretty much saying like, you know, there's, they, you can go by she, her, they, them. The pronouns. Yeah. The pronouns. Right. You know what I'm saying? Too Which is crazy. For but a little kid. Right. How old was yeah, the they kid? They were like in kindergarten. And oh, I was stop. just like, yeah, so, imagine how confusing And that was the that public was. school. Yes. And I, and it was being filmed too. So I was just like, of course they're going to learn that, but. I want you to learn how I want you to learn. And like whatever your definition of learning this LGBTQ community could be just even more so because it's trending. I don't fucking know. Yes. But I'm like, now I'm worried about public school. You know what I'm saying? Just, like, yeah. just the same way that, you know, they it's kind of frowned upon to go and teach like a bunch of different religions to children right, in school. Right. That should that's that falls in the same category. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. up to the parents on what they want to teach their children, what they want to promote in their children. Wow, it's crazy because they teach us everything except 
prep for the things we actually need to know. Right. right. Absolutely. Jesus yeah. Christ. Absolutely. It's crazy. Okay. Yeah. So what you doing, if you put your kids in school mm-hmm. uh-huh. and your son comes home crying, what's, what what type of mama are you going to be? Because I know be? what type of mama I'm going to be, but well, I, I want to, yeah, I'm going to ask you too. What type of mama are you going to be? <laughs> Lala, what are you crying cry? for? Being bullied. Yeah, he was being oh, bullied. Oh, I'm coming. I'm going straight to the school. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going straight to the school. We're going straight to the school. Right. First of all, it's one of those things to where I just don't trust how they be handling stuff in the schools when it comes to kids nowadays. Yeah. Some mm-hmm. teachers you luck up and you win from what I've seen, but other ones not so much. So mm-hmm. I'm definitely coming up to the school. I'm going to see what the teacher has to say. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to talk to whoever's bullying my child, their parents, see how yeah. they talking. And if they not talking right, then I'm going to talk to their child. And that's just yeah. what it is. Do right. you think you should talk to the child or you think you should talk to the parent? I said, I'm going to talk to the parent first. Oh, the parent first. Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay. Because sometimes, the parent will be like well it is what it is they school age you know these younger parents yeah. sometimes or even just parents who don't care yeah. they don't care you know so it's like okay well child. if you don't care now I'm gonna go ahead and talk to your child mm-hmm. because my child ain't getting bullied it ain't happening no absolutely not mm-hmm. I agree what about you babe what do you how do you think you'll react I already mm-hmm. know but mm-hmm. okay so I'm naturally raised in a ghetto household you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying like my mother was very very ghetto my grandma parents are ghetto and all that and when my mom found out that somebody stole back in the day my mp3 player she pulled up to the school yes, not the mp3, MP3, yeah, MP3 player <laughs> you took it back man what is I, that I, at least you didn't say your dvd i didn't say no your CD dvd player, radio. The C- the, yeah the it's equivalent cassette? no because mp3 the was the first was first cd the mp3 okay that was around that time you know Child, I'm video. yeah so, ipod yeah it was then it was ipod so it oh wasn't that it wasn't that far i had both i I had both. I had an MP3 and an iPod. Okay, so let me get to them. When my mom found out the little boy that stole my MP3 player, she was at the gym. She pulled the fuck up in her gym outfit. Didn't what? During during mm-hmm. school. Pulled Absolutely. up. Walked and tried to figure out what class I was in and right. figured out what class he was in. Embarrassed the fuck out of him and he gave me my MP3 player. Wow. But listen. And, it, and guess what? Andy. I'm gonna do the same thing. Like, yeah, you gotta go down there and I yeah. just feel like and, and he he never stole. He always was nice to me after mm-hmm. that. And when it, it helped. kids know that somebody's parent is involved, mm-hmm. pe- ter- parents, teachers, when everybody knows that the parent is heavily involved, mm-hmm. I feel like that child, they don't play with them. Exactly. Right. You know? Play right. with it, don't play so, with it. So, yeah, don't play with mine. Yeah, yeah absolutely, because I'm going to be the same way. Yeah, I'm definitely going up should. to the school. As every parent should. Right. Every parent was heavily involved. We would have less issues yeah. amongst the kids. Right, mm-hmm. 100%, because I feel like the people that do the bullying, it's the kids that are acting their parents, out because their parents are Yeah, exactly. They exactly. just want attention, all that kind of stuff. Right, absolutely. So, okay, let's transition a little bit. How do you feel? You're transitioning? I'm transitioning, not as a, a man, but a, in this segment. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, when you got to ask us questions, you know, we've evolved in this world. That's crazy. You're transitioning. Wait, how was that all the baby talk? Yeah, I should have played on the two. Yeah, actually. Right. <laughs> Fucking nervous. That was the player. You hear this? You hear this? <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Uh, but, oh, my God. <laughs> Let's say. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Oh, okay. But uh, so being in the industry, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? How is it being in the industry, even the dating scene, being pregnant, uh-huh. with who you're pregnant with, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. How is that? Has that affected your career or has it evolved it? Like, you know, what's what's going on? Like <laughs> who I'm dating? Yeah, who you're dating. Uh-huh. How, like, you know, every I'm talking about being pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Okay, being pregnant, who I'm dating, has it affected my career? Yes. Yes. And um, the reason why I'm being in a relationship because you were single to the world exactly. prior. Facts. Exactly. But the reason why I'm asking Always. that. Yeah, but the reason why I'm asking that is because I did see an article in the shade room. Everybody was talking about you being pregnant. I think you posted your your uh, maternity Our announcement. pictures. Yeah, your announcement. Yeah. The the comments was going mm-hmm. crazy. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I guess talk about that. Yeah. Okay. I think nowadays everything is temporary, Mm -hmm. right? So my career, I wouldn't say hasn't been affected. That moment specifically was huge. I mean, everybody saw it. 
it was everywhere. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it was, I'm not going to lie, it was a lot because I'm very private, right? Yeah. Yeah. And we need to know. Wait, can I say it? Like, we knew. Yeah, y'all knew. (laughs) Yeah, we knew. We knew. Uh (laughs) Y'all knew. And, um, yeah, it was a huge moment. And it was different for me because I'm very private with my private life. Everything mm-hmm. that I post is strictly for entertainment. Right. right. And I feel like once you post it, now you're opening yourself to unwarranted opinions and stuff like that. Mm. But it is what it is. I had to announce it because, honey, I still had to work, you right. know? And yeah. there was only so much time that I could keep having my belly. Yeah. So, right. With the oversized blazer. Yes. Because right. yes. yes. mm-hmm. Lord knows I was the clothes was starting to just be unfit after a while so i was like okay but i say that to say it was cool did Mm -hmm. it amplify anything i feel like it put more eyes Mm -hmm. on me you know um me and him shoot his followers shot up more so than anything um shoot he had got verified all kinds of stuff i feel like he had more of an impact Uh yeah from it as far as me it was just like you know, a whole bunch of speculation and all that kind of stuff. But it wasn't nothing new compared to anything I had experienced before. But I will say that was probably the biggest level mm. or surge of attention that I had received for my personal life, you know? Yeah. But, um, yeah, moving forward, honey, it's just one of those things where now we're just keeping it chill and mm. all the extra stuff. I don't want people to know me for my relationship. Absolutely. It's not one of those Absolutely. things. Yeah. I definitely want to, of course, stay on a track that I was on a trajectory with my career and everything like that. And it's been going, yeah. you know, so now if anything, I just want to incorporate motherhood every now and again, you know, family life, because I do love our relationship as well. Mm-hmm. And, but at the same time, I don't want it to be solely about that. I'm yeah, because I was going to ask, yeah. I was literally going to ask, would you like start a family channel? Like, never. You know never? <laughs> She's never. never. That was quick. Okay. Never. never. So, Only- so basically, you'd want it to be an extension of Lala Milan brand, but yes. not yeah. like some, it's the not La- going to be, because a lot of people, they go and they have a child and then that's all they post about. Now, all their content is about yeah. that baby, the family. It's a part of my life. Mm hmm. But it's not my entire life. Mm -hmm. I am still me. I'm an entertainer first, you know. So say when I do stand up and stuff like that, I may talk about my family life and stuff like that because that's Mm -hmm. really what it is. All of my content has always included my real life, you know. It's just it was curated. So I feel like that won't be any different. Only reason why I'm opposed to a family channel is because people tend to make everything about that you know what i'm saying my man has his own brand i have my own brand and we have a joint brand Mm -hmm. and we will feed you know what we continue to feed will grow so let's continue feeding these individual brands and every now and again we could give them a splash of our relationship and that's the way to go because that's how we operate you know Mm -hmm. what i'm saying but once we started catering more to the joint brand Mm -hmm. that's all we were exactly i would say it definitely is hard for people Mm -hmm. to separate the two 100 percent exactly but what we did i think what happened was is i mean we started off separate though we started Mm -hmm. off separate and then we decided to build our empire together and that was mm-hmm. like it took, I, it took off we, uh-huh. we, of course because yeah. people love love exactly but that moment when y'all had a separation period mm-hmm. yeah you know what i'm saying right yeah. look at how that affects and then y'all and then gotta they, deal with that choose sides too yeah exactly and, and it was really bad difficult mm-hmm. that's really really difficult so i would say like it's definitely important to have that balance exactly because and that's what we learned too i mean even before the separation and then we got back together or whatever mm-hmm. like like we were, we were like, all right, Easiest Natalie, we love that brand, but it's not just about that. Like exactly. we really need to be building our own thing. So I feel like we've really found like a great balance now yeah. where people, we give them the opportunity to miss Easy X Natalie. Yes. Because we yes. were, hey, we were posting three, three day, times a week. Three times yeah. a week. Because you hear and what you see the people want. Mm-hmm. But you have to think about what it is you want. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, so to keep our relationship healthy mm-hmm. and to make sure we're good in real life Mm -hmm. I don't want to do too much publicly with that because I love my man in real life Yeah, you know what I'm saying and I want to protect what we have Mm, you know what I'm saying Yeah, and a lot of times when you put it online 
all of the protection is gone. Yeah. yeah, and you open you open up yeah your relationship to a lot of different you things. Do. And, and the speculations come. The speculations. Right. The fuck and is honey, talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! People be like, just ignore it. Honey, that could get into your subconscious. Yeah. You know? Oh, trust me. We've had enough moments where just th- being online and because we are, we're extremely open with our our personal lives. And like when we are going through it, when we're not, that shit has been rough. I'm not doing that. that I'm not feel, giving yeah. that explanation that has, to you know, people who Ooh. I don't know. Exactly. Yeah. It's been rough. I will say one thing is it definitely built an insane fan base that really feel like they feel like we're family. Mm-hmm. When I say like, yeah, they'll go above and beyond sending us money mm-hmm. for our birthdays and what gifts I and all this other stuff. Our baby, the baby shower, the registry. Lala Nation from Snapchat stepped. Yes. Like they were sent, they were like, "What's the registry?" What? They went, yeah, they went crazy Come sending on. gifts and everything yeah. like that. And mind you, that's literally because of the love they have. So I understand what y'all are yep. saying, and I that makes me emotional. You know yes. what I'm saying? But I just, for my peace of mind, I have to protect something in my life and limit what I'm sharing for certain things for my peace of mind. Yeah. I don't want to get too wrapped up in everything being out there. Exactly. And so the, I think oh, I know I was just going to say, I think we kind of learned that too, yeah. like, mm-hmm. especially through this last uh, breakup. Cause you know, we were uh, separated for a, couple months yeah. and it was like Boy, people, was that awkward it yeah. was it was because you called us immediately it you was didn't awkward for the, me yeah you because that's when we had just got back but we, together. we had just gotten and back we had together just the podcast talking about it and, you and we like, didn't I remember really, i knew like prior to you said oh, you yeah. felt you said you felt something right child i knew yeah, yeah. you got to remember we was all hanging out yeah. in miami yeah yeah, yeah. so honey there yeah. was that and i'm just like child you're like there's, there's something off something about funny. this yeah, yeah. Yes. it was it was bad and we do have all the same friends so it Love. was oh my god it was really it was bad but then on top of it not having uh, we're dealing with the awkwardness between friends and in like life mm-hmm. and stuff and mm-hmm. then we have people online like what's, mess- going, on? what's going on messaging my mom messaging her mom mm-hmm. Yeah, like literally it's just, entitled yeah. you know but be rightfully so yeah because we put them put it, yeah, yeah we, we put gave them there. that so we well that's what we learned from that situation is we're like all right we gotta be a little more selective yes. about what we decide to share because there's gonna be the people that are extremely just like helpful and just positive mm-hmm. and loving and then there's gonna be the people that really try to tear you down and but it's difficult to decipher between the two because at the end of the day we don't know them yeah you know? absolutely so i'll tell you like i posted pictures from the baby shower just of myself they like where the daddy at where the daddy oh Ooh, i knew this was for sure i knew y'all were lying what <laughs> damn bitch swipe left really? <laughs> all you had to do was swipe so, over before you commented then he turned around and post a picture they like see y'all spoke too soon yeah see why he ain't never post her? like anything that yeah. we do they be looking so, for and we don't even post you yeah. know, like that. Yeah. Do so you, is like, that a, like a requirement? Do you care? Like, all right, Tyler, like post, post me. Like, you I'm know? not going to lie. First I didn't, okay. you know what I'm saying? I was like, it's when we, you know, when mm-hmm. we weren't public, Okay. but I told him, I want to be loved out loud, right? Ooh, because wow, people I love, don't, I love me out loud. He loves period. me. He loves on me. Right. He very much so does, you know? Um, but every now and again, I want people to see how you love on me. And when I say love out loud, it's like the things that we talk about in the way that he loves on me in private and stuff, that's not displayed. But I feel Mm -hmm. like sometimes it should be just so that way it's not questioned. Yeah. Yeah. So at first I didn't care about it and no, it's still not a requirement, Mm -hmm. but just let it be known like, we're together. Let it be known that you really do love me. Let it be known that you appreciate me, Mm -hmm. you know, cause I'm the type Honey, I'm going to be the same everywhere we go. Right. I'm going to mm-hmm. kiss on you. I'm going to be all on you. He's not necessarily into PDA. So, okay. it, you know, I don't want to give people a reason to assume their speculation is right. 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 You know, yeah. like, he's not, he not, pr- he not giving her no attention, but it's mm-hmm. like, I know, like, honey, we live together. We got a whole crib, all that extra stuff. People don't know those things, yeah. you know? So it's like, bae, I need you to... I know you shy, but so give me a little, 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 little bit of love. You know, yeah. you know, you know, you know, 
he be, yeah, he be shy with it, you yeah. know. But they don't know him enough to know that. So right. To know that it's just being shy. Yeah, him being shy. They can really be like, oh, he's this, not he expressive, yeah. you know, like, all people, that stuff. Yeah. But you know, they never know. Every night, like he hold me and not, you know what I'm saying? And you be the right. big spoon, you know. Look, that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like, yeah. but I that makes me feel good, yeah. you know, well, especially because you know you are a public figure yeah. mm-hmm. you both are mm-hmm. so it's the fact that like now the world knows that there needs mm-hmm. there has to your life has to match it at some in some way yeah, it doesn't yeah. have to be too extreme i don't but, need you to post me on your page all the time or some or nothing like that but just mm-hmm. let them know like i'm still here yeah <laughs> yeah shoot let them know like you know because honey especially not not even being funny Honey, especially with him, uh-huh. they going to try whether they see me or whether they don't. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? But they at least let it be known, like, I'm actually into my girl. Exactly. Right. That's, I feel that. You know? I feel that. That's all. Because yeah, some people, some people, I feel like when you're dating them and they're not like that, but they also don't want you to be seen, they'll play like, oh, my aesthetic on my page. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, I've been hearing, like, but it'd be my like, girl, girl let's talk go. about that. It's I been two like, years. Yeah. Oh, my God. Aesthetic yeah. Call. It's been two years, mm-hmm. three years. Because like, you know how to... You know how to incorporate the stuff that you want to. Exactly. Because you're going to do a bomb ass photo shoot. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know how to make it fit your aesthetic. So, exactly. And a little sprinkling on her. Exactly. Okay, Mama La. So, do you have any worries bringing your child into this world? Cause Ooh. this world kind of ghetto. It's, it's ghetto. Got, it's yeah. a lot going on. They all buying aliens like bunkers and shit. Spotted. That's what I'm saying. The, the rich people Wait, buying bunkers. Did y'all hear about in the Florida? aliens in yeah. Miami? Yes, yes they girl. was at the Miami Mall just walking yes. around. Uh huh. Ten feet tall, looking like that boy who just went viral. Child. Yes. And they said they said that um when every time they would try to record it, their, their phones, phones was messing up. Uh huh. So I believe it. I believe that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what? Do you believe it? I, and do. I don't know what to believe nowadays. I don't know. But honestly, I feel like it's more believable that they keep trying to hide stuff from us and mm-hmm. that they I don't want us that. to know than that it doesn't exist. Exactly. Like, yeah. I would be like, look how many galaxies there are out there? You can't tell me I that we're the I feel like only... aliens exist. I right. feel like we're aliens to another planet. Oh, like, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? That's why they're here, trying to see what's up. Like, yeah. that look funny. Honey, they was walking around like, what's that? <laughs> right. That's <laughs> what so I said. How do you think they talk? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> A <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker was in there yeah. around her somewhere, just looking like. But you think yeah. they got gen- like genitals? Like, do you think they like? You think I they think they're naked? asexual. Oh. Asexual. I think it's probably nothing like, down. Like there. a mannequin. They yeah. probably don't even have to. They, they probably pee out they their fingers. fingers. They, I was just about to say they probably fornicate through their fingers, Literally. touch each other, and be like. Mm. Maybe, or they just yeah. like it's like a mind thing. They're like, all right, I'm about or to get you pregnant, and then another one forms. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Oh my god, that's crazy. okay. But look, that's why I'm worried to bring kids because, like, fuck, is uh, the world going to shit? Like, I don't know. Like, is there anything that you're worried about being a mom? I can't be worried about anything that hasn't occurred. You know what yeah, I mean? I right. feel like I'll stress myself out. I'm very much so like in the moment type person. So if nothing hasn't happened, I'm not going to think about it. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, unless I'm planning something. But aside from that, not so much. Are you planning anything? Because you know, people are planning their bunkers. They're planning like they're going going away with their families and like build like no. building if they say a storm or something is coming then we'll instacart a lot of stuff no, to instacart. but aside no, but from I'm that saying, have you seen those people like on social media i haven't seen that all right well let me just tell you about it then so basically <laughs> she wanted me to know so bad right. all right tell me hey, about the bunkers girl i'm a lot to be oh, listen prepared. prepared i'm gonna go get a bunker built fine i'm so yeah Okay, and make sure you're growing your own crops. Like that's what people are doing. Uh, so oh, we're like my baby's white. We're no, all, wait, no, okay, my but that's my mom coming out right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and get chicken so I can have eggs. Exactly. Mm-hmm. The, the whole nine. The whole nine. You know, you know it. Go to All y'all Rhonda. doing is go to live at her mom's house. Yeah. Y'all ain't even gotta do it. Listen. So you expect me to do all that? No, you can come you can come to our we house. Come in then. You can come. Bring the baby. Me, son, son, and yeah. my man. Yeah, yeah son, son. absolutely. Yeah. Wait, okay, so what cool. you gonna name the baby? Son, son? That's his nickname for now for y'all. Okay. Son, son. Come on. Okay. <laughs> What's his name? 
Oh. Sign, sign, low man, child. Oh, you're not going to drop the name? Nah. All right, what a, is, it, is he going to be a junior? He's not. He's not. We oh. believe in allowing him to have his own identity. Oh, Granted, my God. Based off of the ultrasounds and stuff, he okay. already looks just like him. Oh, <laughs> Wait, you can tell? Gosh. I don't believe that I'm shit. I'm going to show it That's to you. That's a mom thing. Like, I think no, it's because you're a not. mom. Yes, it is. You can't, that baby look like a no, little alien in there. Lie, Wait cut. until I show y'all. Y'all are going to be like, oh, my. Because I thought the same, too. Okay. Yeah. I done been seeing, I've seen them before I got pregnant and saw plenty of ultrasounds. I said, child, ain't nothing but a piece of clay with the fingers like right. we used to do back in the day. Child, no, honey. Okay. It looked like they did a clay mold of this man's face. Oh, wow. I gotta see. It. It's I gotta disgusting. See. No, I'm not. <laughs> it is. Look, just like that. Like, smile. I was offended. The, the <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, my uh, my cousin, he's having a baby, and I swear the ultrasound looked mm-hmm. just like him. I was like, I wow. I don't believe that. I shit. can't wait until she see because she gonna eat her words. Right. Like, I gotta see Show it. Show it right now. Show it right now. Okay. Okay. Eat her words on the podcast. Show it right okay. now. Just between yeah, us. Let me Come go on. ahead and do that. Pull it up. While I'm pulling it up, y'all. Ask me something else so I don't be wasting the time. Look, we <laughs> got to be productive, child. I'm nine months in. Come on. Let me see this damn ultrasound. First, let me show her. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's 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 his baby. Let me Look. see. Am I showing the screen or no? That damn clay bit, it do look like him. <laughs> <laughs> it do look like him. It got his nose. His you see what I'm saying? His nose. Go that's his nose and his mouth. Let me see. Like, what is you talking about? I know you fucking lying. Honey, Tyler's face is very distinctive. Like, that's oh his whole face. God. That's literally his nose. Yeah. Wait, show, come on, show the camera. Show the camera. You show the camera. Come on, Which I got one? You. Oh, and he would hate for me not to say he just woke up, honey. So <laughs> please don't judge him off of that picture. Oh, Ciao. Like so Damn. I'm not tripping, right? What? Thank you. Oh, that's your baby. Wow. Your okay. baby. I can't okay. wait to see him. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Did y'all have that conversation like to where when you told him you were pregnant, he was like, like, is it mine or? <laughs> <laughs> well, at the time I was dealing with six different men. I believe so. it, you know. <laughs> no, I believe it. Say <laughs> so he, you know. <laughs> Let me stop it. Babe, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm getting up and walking away. <laughs> no, that was not a question, honey. The question more so was me asking him, do you want to keep it? Like, right, I'm not right. Gonna lie. Yeah. I feel like, because, honey, everything be good when you dealing with people and stuff and like that. Fine. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, when it's fun, when y'all having a great time, you yep. know, you got to think, honey, I was coming to see him in the UK. Mm-hmm. Um... We were traveling, going to different destinations. Isn't he a model too, right? Yes, he is a model. What you are, know, talk talk that shit. He a model, bro. My man is a model child. Yeah. He's the face of multiple brands. You, could you say know, you, you may have me. seen him on Fashion of a Man, Boohoo Man, most recently Move, Sanucci. Okay, like he gets down, rock yes. star, like. My man be out here. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Soon to be on billboards for Louis Vuitton. Ooh. Gucci, oh. luxury. Like, yeah, you know. And he just you signed. You speak on your yes. He just signed to one of the biggest agencies here in L.A. for modeling. You Ooh, know what I'm saying? That. So he's absolutely, I'm so proud of him. Like, he's doing his thing. You know uh, what I'm yes, saying? Yes, he's, he's giving us a bow right now. I giving a loser. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, yes. Um, I forget what I was saying prior to. Oh, yes. The conversation was more so like, is this what you want to yeah, do? Because right. it was all a good time. Yeah. You know? And, honey, he was like, he got offended when I asked him that. Really? Oh, that's yeah. a great reaction, Because guys always either contemplate they or be like, just well, like, well, what you, know, you want to do? Yeah, exactly. They'll right. flip it back. What I'm not going to lie. If he would have said, well, what you want to do? Or, you know, well, I don't know. I'd have been like, say less. Really? Uh, yes. Say less. Really? Because it's like, I I'm not like, having a kid with a man who don't want to have a child with me. Yeah. That's responsible. I'm wow. not doing that. Not With you know all those accolades, you wasn't trying to like, okay, no. child support. No. I feel got like that would be. <laughs> and then that. later on, be surprised if he didn't want to be involved or something. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. And I wouldn't deprive my child of having a father who actually wanted them. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. That was never a question, but I say that to say his reaction was, 
it was fire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it made me more comfortable with going through with the pregnancy. You know what I'm sad. saying? So I was like, wow, like I'm actually about to have a kid. Come you on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're influencers and I'm not going to lie. When yeah. We have a baby. We might record it. Are y'all going to like record it or like? Yes. Y'all, despite, that's, come yeah. on now. Come on now. Yes. And, and for memories too, of course. But I just uh-huh. like, that's, that's a special I do. memory. Here's the thing. I feel like it would be unfair of me not to, right? Right. Because Especially Because they you gave report. gifts, like, at least for Snapchat for right. sure. They mm-hmm. going to get it. Yeah. But it's one of those things to where, yes, mm-hmm. I want to record it and share certain parts of it because- everybody's experience is different Mm -hmm. and I've watched girls labor videos on YouTube and it made me feel like, okay, cool. So I want to add my experience to it as well for other people to watch. You know, there might be some women who's like, oh, well, you know, I want to see Lala's because of X, Y, Z. You right. never know. So yeah. I absolutely am going to record and film it. Yeah, and oh I think that's gosh. good. I think that's good. Okay. You All say right. no? No, no. Look, he is, when it comes to Who's creating he? content, my man. Oh, okay. I just wanted to, you know, let him hear that. Oh, you <laughs> <stupid. laughs> Yes, when it comes to content around certain things, he's different in what he shares. Mm. You know, we just recently had a conversation like, honey, I had to explain to him I'm pregnant and this is a part of what I actually, you know, my real life. Right. So, you know, I want to share certain things, whatever. And he was like, okay, I could get it, you know, cause yeah. at first, you know, he's known for being a model, putting on clothes, all that stuff. He just recently shared the fact that he had a daughter. You know oh, what I'm so saying? he was very Super personal. Private. Yes, yeah. very private, much yeah. so. Yeah. So, you know, now he's, he's starting to be a little bit more understanding and he gets it now because I mean, you got to think you got what a woman who made her, who made a lot of money off of showing certain things, you know, and people love motherhood and I don't mind sharing it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. 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 So is there anything that you are excited about Mm -hmm. up and coming after you give birth as far as like career goes? Like what, how do you think you're even going to balance like being a new mother and career? Right. Oh, that's good. That's a good question. So that was one thing that made me apprehensive about getting pregnant mm-hmm. in the first place. But I'm going to say, one, it's a blessing because my mom sold her house and moved here. Wow. You know? oh, Shout out to my mom. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. So yes. she did that. She was like, ain't nothing going to stop, you mm-hmm. know? Uh, Cause we're both busy in our careers, so mm-hmm. she's like, "Ain't nobody about to be nannying my grandson." Right. And I said, "Okay, cool." So we have that built-in help for one. Then two, it's one of those things where I feel like because I'm a mother now, more opportunities are going to come because there's so many women who they built a bond off of being moms, yeah. you know. But in addition to that. I feel like people seeing how I operated throughout the pregnancy and kept stuff going, that made my stock go up. I'm not going to hold you. Like, host and revolt and stuff like that both days. They had no idea I was pregnant. They were like, well, when is she free afterwards? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm like saying? Like you said, yeah. Yeah, you really did yeah. not stop. You were still working. And, and I was like, absolutely. Stop. You know, I think traditionally speaking, a lot of times when a woman gets pregnant, they be like, oh, well, that's it. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting started, you know, because now I was already motivated to go hard, but now I'm even more motivated for my son. Yes. Yes. I'm trying to tell her, like, it's not going to stop. That's what I'm like. No, that's definitely been something that has been for me, like the reservation. Mm Because she's like, I want to have a baby now. Yeah. And I'm like, like, here's the thing. When things pop up, in an impromptu way, what do we do? We we adjust. roll with it. Yeah. yeah, we adjust, and that's exactly what is going to happen. Mm-hmm. You know, you handle your business, girl. You got a whole assistant. You got a team. All that kind of stuff. There ain't nothing I've ever seen you not be able to handle. Come right. on, a baby is no different. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's so true. With that, ain't nothing changing for me. I'm yeah. excited to see actually what's coming. Yeah, you know, I'm still. Doing the whole acting thing. My manager's like, so when do you want to take a break? I said, I don't. Keep pitching. Yeah. Wow. You know, yeah. And I yeah. mean that. Because if 
the time is right mm-hmm. and I could go ahead and step away, I'm going to do it. If not, put it on ice for me for a little bit and I'm coming. Exactly. It wasn't meant for you if they, you know, if right. it goes on. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. love I that. Feel, That's I a good mindset. It's such a good mindset, but I just feel like because we have to plan it, it's mm-hmm. easier for her to push so it back. Like, oh, you know what right I'm saying? Now. And That's right the now. thing, child. That it, yeah. I Like I said the other day, if the planning of a pregnancy would have been left up to me, I probably would have never had the child. Yeah. yeah. Because ever or be not mother. now. I keep on saying not now, but I should have been had a child. Yeah. Honestly. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Cause I've been wanted one, but oh, yeah. I just, wow, every yeah. time it was, I'd be like, you know, in the next two years, those two years came and it's like, ah, uh, next year, See? that next year came yeah. and it's like, ah, uh, so honey, when this accident slipped up and happened, mm-hmm. it was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do it now or else I'll never do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go give me a turkey baster so we could just accidentally <laughs> happen. <laughs> Get her ass oh while she sleeps. Oh <laughs> gotcha, God. bitch. Can you imagine? <laughs> Got your ass. Go. You want to go keep playing with me because, baby, I'm going to ass. See, if she popped up pregnant, you're going to be like, hold on, who? Who got you pregnant? Wait, if she popped up pregnant Child, or me? Either one of y'all. Oh my, oh, exactly. Either yeah. one of y'all. I, I asked her that one time. I was like, what would you do if I came home? And I was like, babe, like, I'm pregnant. And oh, that's you, a, like, how would you react? I'd be like shocked and disappointed if you did it. And obviously not with a man, but if you did it and it was literally like. Yeah, but like was, not as like a prank. Like if I, if it, I was what like. if she just came home pregnant, didn't tell you from where or anything. If she said, babe. I got great news. I'm pregnant. And I started, or I even let, like, you knew it wasn't a prank because I started showing. And I you know cry. What I mean? I'm not going to lie. I You'd cry. cry. But what if so I was like, in you. you'd be, be disappointed? Yeah, because that's an experience that we have to plan. So yeah, it would just be true. so hurtful. Like, oh, I'd be I like, like damn. It was a surprise. No, you barely want kids right now. So it's like, bitch, you went to go get pregnant. And you know what oh, it is? Not you the just fuck, got <laughs> The fuck is your problem? Okay, so long story short, don't do it. Don't do it. Because, honey, this was. Wait, I want to transition the energy back. Shelly. Like, and she like, on her. like I just did it you for real. You were her while she pregnant. Bitch, there's no more kids. <laughs> oh my God. So now it's not that your kid. That ain't my son, son. I don't know that little nigga. I don't know that nigga. It did not come from her lambskin, so mm-hmm. it is not her child. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Uh-uh. Okay. I don't know that little nigga. Uh-uh. Oh. <laughs> Get that little nigga. Go ahead with all that. Oh my God. <laughs> You better find you another little stud. <laughs> you know studs love kids. Go ahead. Find another one. Mm-mm, they won't say daddy. No oh. to self. Don't oh. ever try to surprise Don't easy play with, with a child. Her. Don't fucking play with me. Mm-mm, I'm getting mad, She's bro. She's turning red. All right. I'm getting mad, bro. Don't fucking Child, get her some water or some ice. So, so, so wait, Ooh. question. So, why are you looking at me like I did she it? She's despising you right now. Okay, <laughs> so you guys, tell me what's really going on. Can we get some tissue? <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> my therapist. I'm going to need one in a minute. Right, bro. Hell no. Okay, so basically, let me ask you this. So, what... Ooh qualifies the, it to be your child it has to be a plan like we got to plan it together because either way yes. it wouldn't be from yes. your body yes yes we had to plan it together okay we so to that's what makes it your child yes because how else it, gonna, it ain't gonna be my child unless we take my eggs and put it inside you it's a whole mental stud thing like <laughs> we gotta go through the process oh my god there's so much stuff that comes with being bruh, a stud yes, that i'd be learning not, about bro if i'm not there and be like all right this is our baby if i don't say it that ain't my child what? you know what i'm saying because i already can't do it naturally you feel right. me so i gotta go through a whole so you mental gotta pro- a shot you in know order saying? for you to feel secure exactly i really yeah. wonder if there if that's ever happened before like a girl was like oh i'm gonna surprise my you know my mm-hmm. girlfriend and i'm gonna just go get pregnant or if they try to pretend it was a surprise because they was out i was cheating. about to say uh-huh. it's given bisexual like men you popped up and got pregnant okay. and you just want to keep like, it surprise. and stay with your person Mm-mm. get your little dirty Child. ass away from me Mm-mm. kill him dick kill him dick oh my Shit. god Jesus. lala it has been so good having yes. you uh, here Child, when i tell you <laughs> <laughs> yes i don't want i don't uh, yes thank you so much for coming thank on the podcast it's been wait hold on you good you okay mm, mm, hold on you okay yeah hold on mm. he's got like a pain or something hold on 
You want some water, Charlie? Oh. You okay? You want something to drink? Oh, no. Oh. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Oh, here, maybe water. Ah. You feel like your water broke? I think so. Are you really? serious? Yeah. No fucking way. Oh my god. Wait, are you okay? What are we doing? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, no, baby. No, don't do it. <laughs> you fucking. <laughs> Oh, should we put her on the toilet? <laughs> did you say? Did you say should we put her on the toilet? Yes. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Wait. See, you know what? Before we have a kid, you need some training because ain't no way you gonna put me on the no, toilet. No, you really do. Get really? Because it's see? a comfortable position. See, I fucking know. They said you're not supposed to get pregnant laying down. You're supposed to be getting pregnant yes. squatting and shit. <laughs> and I'm over here and shut the fuck up. Like stop. <laughs> fuck. Oh, first guess is the best. Hey, I don't know how we shit, gonna bro. top this that one. Shit, they didn't did that shit in the fucking Lala. We can't have her oh, ass back up. Oh. <laughs> God fuck. <laughs> now what the you fuck? did good too. Oh. You did oh. good too. You should have had it longer. We I would have fucking. I don't even know. Oh, he was about to call he was somebody. Go call the doula, and oh. I'm like, no, don't call her. Out. Damn, <laughs> what's the doula? Uh, our doula is our birth assistant. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah like like uh, Erica Badula. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Well, now you're a little extra prepared for Ooh, when it really does happen. Babe. You gonna really think on your feet? He's not gonna take me. He's gonna be like, no, you ain't. <laughs> oh my god. You like, no, okay, babe. I'm real. not doing that again. Just so you know. <laughs> Damn. I'm trying to fucking wrap this. God damn it. Fuck it. <laughs> what the My whole park is this wet and child. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, uh, you know, we had a. I had to say, Ooh, wait, true you to told my. Her to do that? Yes, yes she did. it's her fault. I wouldn't play like that, believe it or not. <laughs> that was, that was the cue. Yeah. yeah. I cued her. Cute? I, said, cute? I said, well, it was so great having you. I was so worried she wasn't going <laughs> to no, remember we... the cue. <laughs> I know you fucking lying. And then when you said it, honey, when you was like, yes, I'm like. I'm a fucking nerd. Wait, she got into character so good, too. I thought, okay, actor, actor. Because I was like, damn, how is she going to get into it? Because we were, like, happy. I was doing little things along the way, like you said, honey. I was like, ooh, I set up, I adjust myself, you know, to go ahead and make it a little, you know. Believable. Bitch, oh my god, I almost gave birth on just between us. She Fuck. said, put her on the toilet. <laughs> Literally. Hey, I had to try and stay true to my oh. pranking roots. Oh. All right, we ain't, what the fuck? Okay. That was so ooh, I can't babe. That was good. I got you. I got yeah. you, huh? I got him. Damn. Oh my god. He I can't wait. Cause he was like, You ain't never pranked me. And I'm like, dang, I haven't. I was like, I wouldn't play with you like that. Well, did you so call when her? she said it, I'm like, let's Did you do call it. her? Did you? No. She was asking me about her and visualizing over there. 
Child, and I was like, she's like, do you want to prank them at first? I was like, um, because I don't play like that. But I'm like, F it, we ball. Like, <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. I'm fucking tired of y'all. <laughs> let's wrap this shit up. Wrap it up. If y'all did not Ooh. see, we are actually recording. So head over to YouTube oh and God. actually see the prank. <laughs> yes, y'all. <laughs> I'm your oh host, Easy. This is not Hold a on. Wait. A what? Okay. What? what else? If y'all want to see more of me, make sure that you follow me on all platforms, mm. honey. You can find me at Lala Malong on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, YouTube. And go ahead and check out my IMDB while you're at it, okay? Mm. By the time you get over there, honey, I will have some more content that is boiling for you, okay? Mm. And also, make sure you go ahead and follow my man, all right? His name is I... I at underscore I am Tyler P. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. And go ahead and follow him on Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, everywhere you name it. Okay. And if you don't know who he is, they're gonna go ahead and post a picture, honey. I know you don't see him because he probably inspired your man, like your friend, or somebody like that to go ahead and buy an outfit that they be wearing today. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you all so much for tuning in. You can to come their put podcast. your face in the camera because yeah, the way that she just hyped you up. Come, come on, look, look at him. Look at his ass. Come, come, come get come him on the on camera. Here. They I thought I would see you. But by the time this episode drops, y'all might have yes. had the baby. So this yes. is it. This is it right here. Yes. 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 Look, Say was, hey, baby. What's up, what y'all? I was quiet the whole podcast, you know, trying to show respect, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Wasn't trying to like... laugh all out of none of that, but <laughs> thank y'all for having me on here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. Time to be. Did, nah, Did I get you? That was foul. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Don't show her. Don't show her. Don't show her. Oh, don't wow. show her. Yeah, don't show don't her. Don't show, don't, her. don't show her. I got you. Yeah. I got you. I'm not showing her. Oh, oh, oh I'm not showing dang. her. Give me a kiss. You okay? Okay, good. You know I had to hop to the garage. Yeah, yeah I'm not gonna lie. He yeah, looks scared. On the <laughs> yeah, I got it. Well, <laughs> I'm right now. I got it wrapped up. Damn, man. He looked terrified. Gotcha. I started feeling bad. I was like, damn, maybe this wasn't a good idea. I can do what I do. You Yeah. Come on, I'm like, all right. Oh, damn, in the garage, so she like, See, don't go. Damn. He was standing on business, even though he can't even properly stand. That's now, my it's crazy normal. that you were so respectful, though, because I would have been still quiet. Like, like, is shit. it okay? I would have been like, he like, like <laughs> shit over <laughs> and like, <laughs> flip the cameras. <laughs> move, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, come on, get my face. Come on, come like, like, I still barely can move, so it's like. Damn, yeah. that's funny. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Yes, y'all. Uh, like, but I noticed, I'm like, why she in it early? That I'm like, that was the cue. Was it early, though? We no, we've been talking for like minutes. an hour. No, it was like out of nowhere. So I'm like. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, so I'm just looking like. I'm not the only one that didn't fucking know. Because he, if he had the space, I literally was just like, fuck, what do we do? Don't, don't say nothing. Like, when you said sit her on the toilet. <laughs> sit her on the toilet. Yeah, man. Ooh, fuck. That is so funny. Okay. Uh, that was fun. Well, this was fun. fun. This was super fun. Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure y'all check out their socials. I'm easy. That's Natalie. Lala Milan. Tyler P in the building. Gang, gang. You know what I'm saying? We out. Thank y'all. Just Between Bye. Us yeah. podcast. And uh, we, we out. out. We out. Yeah. 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 Gang, gang, gang. That was good, though. That, that was, was good. good. That was good. That was, good. That was, good. That was fucking good.